Hello friends, uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project e-commerce portal and I got inquiry from many of the students for developing such a project which is using the latest PHP version that is the 8 and the MySQL version is 8 and uh, this is a bootstrap theme we are using the bootstrap theme the version is uh, 5 right and for development we have used the Visual Studio Code ID right so these technology stacks we have used for developing this project and this is a responsive theme right if you check it then this is a responsive theme right if i show you then if you click on the inspect right and if you click on that then you can see this is the mobile version right if you can see this is the mobile version of our website right so this is all of the mobile version right let me okay so you can see okay so this is the responsive theme even you can uh, check and run it on mobile also right so uh, the project title is e-commerce portal and we have developed this project with two different types of interface that is the front-end interface and the second one is the admin interface both are totally different interface right and both uh, are responsive and we are using bootstrap latest version for developing that Right. And this is a major project and from this project you can learn a lot of things means how can you create database, how can you manage um, uh, data from PHP with CRUD application, create, read, update and delete many of the things you can manage with the, you can learn from that right. So let's start with the features uh, that what we have developed inside this project right. So once you run this project this is a home page you can see this is the home page and if you check this is the category you can see this is the category and this is the dynamic category and it's coming from the database so if you click on that then all of the things which belongs to category will be displayed here you can see if you are clicking on the dress then all of the dress are coming if you click on the cosmetics then all of the cosmetics are coming even this is the header bar that is for the search if you search anything here then it will also search you can see it searched right it is searching the thing and you can see the details from here right so this is the home page and if you click on the so then there is a slider here you can see there is a three image i have added here there is a slide here right and if you click on the shop now again you will uh, able to see all of the products which we have added into the database right so okay so again this is the feature product and this all products are coming from the database and this is the latest product and this is a slider right if you wait some time then it will slide right you can see it's sliding right so we have added the slider here we tried to make this project more functional more of more operational we have used a lot of plugins for developing this project right okay so this is the about us page and this is a static page there is nothing dynamic on it this is a product page again this is a, a dynamic page and all of the products are coming from the database you can see right if you click on the view details or you, if you click here you will be able to see here right the details and this is all of the categories so uh, we have added eight categories but this is a dynamic right you can add any number of categories from the database from the admin panel also right we have a separate admin panel for that right if you click on the categories like this uh, uh, dress contains six products camera contains two products who contains one product right so if you add many number of products in any category then this number will be increased according to the count of that category right if you click on that you can see six products are coming so this category is showing how many product it contains right this is a registration from here user can register right if user does, doesn't have the account then he can register from this this is a login page from here uh, he can log in and click here to register again the registration this is a contact space and this is a static contact space there is nothing dynamic on it a small map this is a real map right and a small map i have integrated here right this is not uh, feature uh, functional right i have i am not uh, sending any type of email and sms from this page even we are not saving that right because that is not a part of uh, e-commerce that's why we have not implemented that right so now let's uh, go and buy some product right if you click on the you know, this and you want to two items you can see there is a uh, button right so two items and add to cart so oh there is a restriction in that right without login you can't buy any item right so you must have the user uh, account on this portal for buying any product without login 
without an uh, account you can't buy any product right this is a restriction right so the user id is amit at the gmail.com and password is test if you don't have the account then you can i will explain this dashboard later this is a very good dashboard we have created i will explain you later right so uh yeah view details and this one the add to cart so i am adding two items into the cart you can see so if i am deleting that right so these two items i have into the cart one item from the previous site so you can see two items i have added into the cart right and here you can see the so three items three items and total amount it's calculating automatically and the total amount that much amount you need to pay if you delete any item then the amount will be calculated automatically this is a pick out project means uh, all of things all of the things will be calculated automatically automatically right if you want to add more product right like uh, this one right and i want to add two products then two products right so total amount is 9400 right because you can calculate it right so if you uh, do the shopping right if you click on the put receipt to check out this is a payment page right here you can see this is a credit card details here you need to enter the credit card details right this is a dummy page right this is not a real time page right so none of the real time transaction will be happen so you can enter anything what you want to need right and then uh, and then cvv number right and total amount you need to pay is, and you can see the delivery charges is zero so you can configure this delivery charges as well as the symbol right means if you have different symbol if you are uh, from different country then you can configure this symbol also just click on the make payment and you can see your payment has been made right and this is the order sum right you can see your orders in the my order section you can see this is a great dashboard for orders only right you can see you have placed to 21 orders and confirm is 21 right so this is the order piece right and then uh, this one is the order page if you want to see the details of any order just click on this eye icon and you will be able to see the details of that order right you can see this is the details of the order right here are my orders and then uh, this one the detail <coughs> sorry details of the order right okay so again coming on the dashboard so you can see this is the dashboard page right here you can see all of the order details right so and then this is the important links right either you can go on the page from this right or either clicking on this page right okay so this is the again my order section this is the my account section from here you can update your account details right and the change password from here you can update your account password right so you need to enter the new password and confirm password and after that once you click on the change password the password will be changed automatically right this is all about the front end things right and one last thing I want to tell you, this is a session driven, right? You can see this administration option is showing, logout option is showing, showing, and the dashboard option is showing. So this is the session driven. It renders according to the session because customer has login, that's why it's showing. If I click on the logout, you can see the menu has been changed. Why? Because it's a session driven. It's coming because of the session. Customer has login, right? So system is checking who has login. And according to that, the upper menu is displaying if i log in then you can see session has changed right log out session has changed so this is all about the front end panel what we have developed inside this project now comes on the admin panel right for admin panel you need to open the admin right so this is the admin panel right here you need to uh, add so without login you can't access the internal right so it's saying, saying that login to access admin portal so admin user is admin at the gmail.com and the password is test right so once you win this is a great dashboard we have created for the admin panel right from here you can see all of the details so total orders total delivered confirmed right each and everything you will be able to see from here right so this is the dashboard right this is the dashboard here you can see this is the even you can see drag and drop the things right because even you can minimize it right you can see you can minimize it right this is a great dashboard we have created even you can close it right even close it right you can close it right but if you refresh the page it will comes again right so if you want to uh, drag drop here here and there you can do it right even you can maximize it also you can see this is the maximize this is the minimize right you can maximize and minimize this also 
right so here this is the total order section total products we have 12 products we have five customers total order it has it these all things are displaying here <coughs> sorry this is the quick menu from here you can uh, go on the page right so again i am going to uh, and this is the you can see this is a menu and if you want to hide it just click on that and you can see it's hidden right so this is the view of the page after hit, uh, hiding the menu but if you don't want to hide just this is the uh, with the menu options right unhidden options right so this uh, this is the quick menu this is all products even you can edit it from here you uh, available categories register customers and this is the all order section right if you click on the view then you will be able to see the details of the order right okay so now comes on the product management this is a product management from here you can add update delete the product right you can see this is the uh, all of the products what you have added and there is a pagination here you can see there is a pagination right and if you click on the edit then this product will uh, open in the edit format and you can edit it right and this is the product report right from here you can see the product report the most important feature you can export this whole data into the csv as well as excel you can export the data into the pdf and print it even if you want to disable or enable the column you can do it from here like you don't want to see the type or you don't want to see the name just click on that and type right you can see type is not coming here but if you click on the type it's also coming here right so this is the power of this table right this is a data table you can delete the order from here you can delete the product from here same for the category right this is a category report right and this all features are available here exporting the csv excel pdf and all of the setting up even you can search from here like if you search the camera then all of the reports which belongs to camera will be displayed here right and you can see the category management so this is a category report right this is the category management here this is order management here you will be able to see all all of the orders you can see all of the orders you are seeing and you can see there is a pagination and it's working perfectly and if you click on the view then you will be able to see the orders so currently order is confirmed and if user is calling no i don't need this order and if you want to cancel it just click on date and click on the cancelled right update you can see order has been cancelled right and now user will be able to see the cancelled status in their portal right so this is the edit format and even you can see this is the order item if uh, i see the all orders and the last order the third one this is uh, id right this one okay so you can see all of the details here right this is the add customer from here you can see add the customers and the customer report all of the customer report will be displayed here right and the change password the, from here you can change the password and the logout once you click on the logout your session will be destroyed again if you want to log in just click on the login and you will be able to log in you will be able to see the details right so this is the admin panel so you can see this is the uh, view of admin panel and this is the view of uh, front end panel so we have to we have developed these two different types of view for managing this whole e-commerce portal right so these are all features we had developed inside this project right so if you need any enhancement any new features any extra things in this project just put it into the comments we will try to incorporate those things we will try to make this project according to your requirements and if you have new requirements then you can also contact us we will develop the new project according to our requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos and the latest technologies thanks for watching video thank you very much